So remember when you were a kid? I remember my glory days. Playing tag during recess, trying to catch all the Pokemon. <laughs> and of course, eating Happy Meals at McDonald's because all I really cared about was that special plastic toy that was made in Taiwan. Then I would come home after school, sit at the dinner table. You know, I'm tired, but I'm kind of hungry, so I want to eat something good. Mom puts this plate in front of me. And I'm thinking to myself, why would she feed me alien mucus? Like, what do I look like? You know. But mom says, oh, it's really good for you. It's going to help you grow, this and that. OK, yeah, because like every eight-year-old, I never believed my parents. But then came along a man who rationalized spinach for generations to come. I'm talking about a hero. I'm talking about an icon, a legend. This guy right here, Popeye. So besides saving olive oil from the trenches of Pluto, Popeye was also protecting himself from inflammatory problems, <laughs> cardiovascular problems, bone problems, and all cancers at the same time. And how was he doing this? By eating spinach. So by eating spinach, that's how he did it. Everyone should include more spinach in their diet due to its anti-cancer benefits, its excellent source of antioxidants, and its bone-supportive nutrients, okay? So let's learn a little bit more about its anti-cancer benefits by eating spinach, all right? Eating spinach helps protect against inflammatory problems. Now, what kind of inflammatory problems? Okay, inflammation of the cells that can lead high risk to cancer. Um, researchers have identified more than a dozen different flavonoid compounds. Now, these compounds, they're like the Justice League found in spinach, okay? What they do is they reduce inflammation of the cells and prevent cancer swans from occurring. So, dinner is served and justice is served. In addition to this study, According to WholeFoods.org, studies also have shown that spinach extracts have actually slowed down the division of stomach cancer cells. Now, this was research done based on all patients that were diagnosed with stages two and three of stomach cancer. And of course, Dr. Marion Nessel, head of the Department of Nutrition, Food, and Hotel Management at the University of New York, stated that plentiful spinach consumption decreases the risk of aggressive prostate cancer. Now, how do we define aggressive prostate cancer? Stages three and four, that's where this research was also based on, okay? So out of a variety of green vegetables, spinach has resulted in proof of significant, and only spinach has resulted in proof of significant protection against prostate cancer. Which brings me on to my next point. Not only is spinach a remedy for cancer prevention, but it is also an excellent source of antioxidants. Now we have to keep in mind that this is a very nutrient-based food. It's low in calories, high in vitamins and minerals. It's packed with vitamins A, C, K, B2, manganese, iron, calcium, and potassium. Also, fun fact, it's actually considered a natural cosmetic. It helps prevent premature aging. That's your skin look young. It keeps your brain young and agile as well. So for those of you that are Sudoku enthusiasts or crossword puzzle people, look no further. Let's eat that bush right there. <laughs> Folate is another mineral that is found in spinach that supports the cardiovascular system. Not to get off track. Helps prevent blood clots and reduces high blood pressure. So, it really, what it does, it helps protect that strawberry tart that's in your chest. Furthermore, it strengthens the immune system. It fights off negative effects of viral radicals that cause damage to body cells. Okay, so pretty much what it does, spinach gathers all vitamins A, B, C, D, and E, works together with your immune system to help prevent anything like if you feel like, feel like you're gonna catch the common cold, the flu, any of those nasty little viral diseases, it fights it off. And finally, it has bone supportive nutrients. Now my friends, I think we should all avoid osteoporosis together. Now I'm not saying we're gonna hold hands, sing kumbaya in front of a fire pit, but I think the point that I'm trying to get across is eat more spinach. So Dr. Stephen Weiss, head of osteopathy department of New York University, said that it is difficult to find vegetables that are richer in vitamin K than spinach. That is why spinach is so unique, it's so good for you. Phosphorus, iron, magnesium, and calcium all promote bone strength. And where are they found? Spinach. That's Tony Bone right there, he gets it. Studies from also Dr. Weiss's department also have shown that vitamin K helps prevent excessive activation of osteoclasts. What are osteoclasts? 
These are these little cells that help break down bone when you get into your late 50s, 60s, 70s, and so forth. So let's say goodbye to arthritis. So in conclusion, we have learned about the anti-cancer benefits of spinach, its source of antioxidants, and its bone supportive nutrients. Now, I'm not asking anyone to go on a crazy diet, radically change your lifestyle in any way, shape, or form. My goal here today is just to simply convince everyone in this room, including the viewers at home, to include more spinach in your diet, okay? It is a food that can be enjoyed in like 10 to 3 million ways. Boil it, stir fry it. If you like omelets, put it in your omelet. If you like to eat that julienne Caesar salad with grilled chicken, like I do, mix it in there a little bit. Drown it with your favorite dressing, like I do, Thousand Island. Or even a burger. You gotta have your lettuce. Put your tomato. Put on your ketchup. Spread some mayo. Put a little bit of spinach in there. Close it up, eat it, and that's it. My friends, thank you for your time. Bon appetit.